What's up, guys? This is Coach Donnie from Elevate Yourself, where we change lives through volleyball, training, and inspirational content. I'm a volleyball coach and volleyball player who will be reacting to the moment that we've all been waiting for, High Q Season 5 announcement. I can't believe it's already been several years since they've made the last High Q episode. And special thanks to James for sending me a text right away, letting me know that they finally made an announcement for Season 5. And also thank you to one of the Patreon members, Jonas, for sending me the links and giving me further details on what's going to happen with Season 5. I have not seen this video yet, and I wanted to wait to watch and give my initial reactions for you guys. And let's get this Q party started. First, we got the link to the official Haikyuu.jp website. I'm glad that they still have that vertical writing that's traditional. Final. I hope that doesn't mean the final season, because I heard there's a lot more story in the manga. Wish I could read what that says here. Come on, this looks like the same photo of Ryu from Street Fighter 2 where he's kind of standing there and his, his bandana and his hair is blowing in the wind. That's just that classic fighter Japanese pose. I do like that they chose to have more of a traditional watercolor style painting for Hinata, which elevates the quality of the image instead of just having the typical animation style that they usually do. And even this font here, I love this thick, bold, Japanese, playful, but aggressive and serious font. This is something that I also teach in my graphic design classes. And one of our projects actually right now is teaching our students how to create our own font designs. And here are some of the examples. I'm just building the excitement for myself. So here's the website and now to the a Twitter announcement. Let's see, we got 23.6 thousand retweets, lots of likes. I wanna read the comments, but after I watch the announcement video because I don't want there to be any spoilers. Although it looks like there's a spoiler here already. It says a two part film in production. And I wonder why it says Q final. I feel like Japanese really like the word final, like final fight or ultimate or something like that. And then we got the link to the video. This is the time. All right, I put auto-generated translation into English. Let's see how accurate the translation is. From the Spring High School Volvo National Tournament, small horned giant, <laughs> small horned giant. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming those original images are from the manga. Hey, what happened to the translation? I might have to watch this multiple times. Let's enjoy the imagery first. Oh, the anticipation waiting on the baseline. But if you're not alone, if you're the king that creeps on the court, beat him, and I'll be the longest on the court. Oh, I saw this flashbacks. I said. This is such a good preview. Oh, the timing is perfect. Ooh, there's some new animations there. His hair looks different. Even for my grandchildren. Yes, combining the imagery of the manga, I love it. And making it an animated still image. And this music getting intense. Gosh, I wish I knew what that writing said. Oh, and then those little specks flying out from Hinata. Okay, I want to watch that one more time. I'm hoping that the translation is going to be a little more accurate because that one I just wanted to enjoy the imagery. But now I want to rewatch it and actually hopefully understand what Hinata's saying. I think it's interesting that Hinata's narrating because I know there are other times there's some adult voice that's narrating. I don't know if it's Coach Ukai or somebody else. But now let's read. I think the spring tournament is where they left off in during the last episode of 25. A tall, high wall. Yes. Gosh, what does that say? Please let me know in the comments. That stands in my way. Oh, 
前がコートに君臨する王様ならそいつを倒して俺が一番長くコートに立ってやる勝ち残りたかったら強くなってみろよ落ちた強豪 Let's pause that Arch if you want to stay try to be strong I'm down I can't fly I'm <laughs> trying to figure out what the heck does that mean <laughs> Arch if you want to stay So if you want to stay with the team You must arch your back really high. Try to be strong because I'm down because I can't fly. And you can fly, Hinata. <laughs> That's why I've been here for four generations. Okay, that makes sense. That's probably Daichi saying that, like, this is my senior year. Even though they have three years in high school for Japan, this is my last year. <laughs> What's inside and outside will bloom. I'm on my senses. I'm addicted to volleyball. I think that was maybe Tsuki talking in that moment where he's saying, I'm gonna hone my senses. I'm addicted to volleyball. Oh, and we have Ushijima. That scene where he's like pushing them down, that was such like a Super Saiyan moment where that whole team was just pushing back. But that's how much one player can have an impact on the game. Actually, I just played in a grass volleyball tournament and I felt like we got beat by a single person, Thomas Nelson. You've seen videos of him, the Asa hitter with like the small helmet that just hits the crap out of the ball. And sometimes he just Hit so fast that you have no idea how to react. When we played that grass tournament, I felt like he almost beat him completely by himself. That guy's good. I'll crush your feelings, says Ushijima. Paint it on. I'll be a junior that I can be proud of. That must be some imagery in Japanese, like paint it on, maybe wear it. And this reminds me of one of the best scenes in Haikyuu. This timing, this angle, it's perfect. I'll be a dream that I can be a proud of. Maybe that's Kageyama saying that. Ah oh, man, not even a translation for what Kenma is saying. Even for my grandchildren, what the heck does that mean? Maybe he, they're saying that I want to be such a great player that I'm creating a legacy that even my grandchildren will remember. Oh, these images, I just feel like I'm in an ultimate Street Fighter game right now. I just love how the still images are vibrating. This is such a good end to the preview. Beach volleyball. What the? Did I really see some beach volleyball? And we haven't even seen Hoshiyumi yet. I can't wait to see, can't wait to see him. Who is that on the beach volleyball court? Glasses? Is that Tsuki? Oh, maybe. Those are different beach volleyball players. That does not look like Tsuki. Don't spoil it, please. Don't tell me who it is. Wow. And you even hear that shing, that sword sound. And I, I want you to replay just this slow motion here of where the specks are flying away. Let's watch that again. So then you have like a shing sound of Hinata right there. And then this little ash is floating away from his body. Awesome. Oh, that probably says, even for my grandchildren. <laughs> Just joking, I don't know what that says. All right, there's a suggested video here. Is this another video that they revealed? Toho Animation. I'm just going off of a whim here. Wait, no, this is released November 21st, 2020. Maybe this is the release of season four. It's only 43 seconds, so I'm gonna watch it anyway. Oh, it is. Wait, I don't recognize that guy. Who is this guy? Short hair? Unless I'm totally drawing a blank. Okay, no. We've already seen this one. Minus Tempo! Dude, look at that. I, I, that were the, I remember that when they're turning with their eyes and you see the, the beam kind of delaying in the eye turn. Right there, oh. Dang, that was intense. Forgot how intense these trailers are. Now let's check out some of these comments from the Twitter announcement. From Monica, it better be a long season or add some OVAs. Don't leave anything out because I will cry. 388 likes. It's a two part film, bro. Even though the name is Monica, it should be, it's a two-fart film, sister. Yes. Okay, OMG, stop. 
Okay, looks like a lot of people can't handle the announcement. Some people are already showing their own intensity here. Uh, I'm not gonna read the spoiler. Thanks for putting that spoiler alert. I'm not gonna read that. I'm happy. Someone just vomited on the keyboard here. Let's read a couple more. Holy sh! How's it all going to fit in? So it looks like a lot of same things. A lot of people are not happy that it's only going to be a two part film. And I wonder why they did that. Now, my only guess is that I think animation is not as lucrative as we think it is. Or maybe, okay, not animation, anime. I, I think that industry is so, so, so competitive. And unfortunately, what takes away a lot of the money is when people illegally watch the anime. Because now you have so many millions of people around the world enjoying the content for free free versus watching it through a subscription service or at least watching it on TV in Japan or whatever country you're in with commercials that pay those companies. And that's an unfortunate reality. So that's why I, I have no problem paying for Crunchyroll because I feel like I'm directly supporting these companies, which I encourage you guys to do because if it was as lucrative as we think, because you know Haikyuu has such a huge fan base, then they probably would have come out with another 20 something episodes because they would just keep milking it, right? But what this tells me that because they have to release it as a two part film, it's probably not financially worth it for them to invest in like a whole 25 season series. And we saw some of the decline of the animation. And even though they're in a crunch of trying to release episodes, maybe that's just them also realizing that we're not making as much money as we could to hire the best animation companies to do these videos. So any opportunity you can to support was it Toho Animation, this company, or, or any anime that you enjoy, I highly, highly, highly recommend it because, you know, being a creator myself, knowing what it's like to spend all this time and making a living off of content creation, and then to have people rip the content or not get compensated for it, it kind of destroys your livelihood. And also it destroys your enjoyment because if we were all able to support them financially in a legal way, maybe they would be making season 10 by now with 20 episodes, right? So just a small takeaway. I'm not trying to guilt trip you, but just trying to tell you the reality because being in animation illustration in the university, seeing firsthand how these companies operate and the challenges they go through and especially in Japan where anime is so 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 competitive people are just pumping out animation after animation and the margins are so low and I don't know how much merchandise uh, Haikyuu is making because that's actually a huge part of where they make their money so buy the merch from directly from the company support them dude man my, my blood's getting pumped up I actually think I might re-watch the last episode from season four to get me emotionally mentally prepared we're not gonna watch well i'm gonna watch the whole thing but i think we're just gonna include some of the highlights because i want to savor those moments and get myself ready to watch that first film actually one thing i noticed as i was scrolling through this i was clicking on this drop down menu for a country role by the way that's an ingenious name for an anime company country role it's got a lot of character if you watch anime, you probably eat sushi too. Okay, so Haikyuu movies, I think we've learned that this is just a recap, like a summary of all the other seasons. So nothing new here. Land versus Air, I think that's just an OVA, two OVAs. And I think I've already seen these two. For those who've been following me since season one, episode one, let me know if I'm missing these, but I believe I've already reacted to these. So season six and nice, we have no season seven or eight, but I did see season nine and I thought I remember seeing the first appearance of Lev. I think I reacted to that and then I don't recall this one because when I tried to watch the first one or two minutes, I didn't recognize the voices. They sounded a little different and the animation quality was really high and I do not remember seeing this one. So please let me know if I have not reacted to these or maybe I did react to it, but the title of the anime was different. I think I was using Netflix to watch it, and we know that the translation is a little different between those two. But if I haven't, I would love to react to these two also. But we're gonna check out the last episode here from season four to the top, Promised Land. Dude, Monster's Ball was so good too. Might have to watch that again another time, but I think we're just gonna stick with 25 today. Kind of got this interesting toxic yellow green as part of the theme, the color theme for this. Oh. Gotta turn it up. Korai! Korokakido! We don't need the memories. And we got this, this soft music going in the background. Gosh, this scene never gets old. And the 
fingers going through. I think I didn't even go over that. Look at that. Okay, we've got the fingers going here. Lots of great knuckle animations. And then as they push the block through, you can see that the hands are actually pushing through. It's not just two flat hands doing this. One finger is going through it. It's just so realistic and so organic. Look how the, the hand formations change as you're pushing through. Look at that. See how like part of the hand is down. Then we got the fingers going out. They've really studied what the hand gestures are when you're blocking. Oh man, so close. Getting seeing through the eye. And everyone just holding their breath. Sweat, man, they really drew that sweat really well. You might get annoyed at me, but I want to see that scene again. That's such a good scene. Camilo, if you're listening, we're gonna do that as part of my series of volleyball coach tries Atsumu's technique or something. You're gonna be the brother, I'm gonna be the setter, I'm gonna set you that minus tempo. I don't know if we can actually yell it as we're running it, but at least we're gonna do the voiceover as you're doing the minus tempo back one. And then we can say the timing's perfect at the end. Minus, minus tempo! Hi! Hi! Kono Ichi! Karai! Perfect, but the block was even more perfect. And the music, the soft angelic voices. Okay. The running animations are not that great here. Who runs like this? And then makes that noise. I don't mean to spoil it for you guys. They almost, they almost look like, I don't know, like some Star Wars creatures, like some Ewoks running. Am I the only one that thinks that was kind of an odd running? Kind of ruined the moment there. Now we gotta see the dog pile celebration. Oh. I just always love to see what Suki's doing in some of these moments. Everyone's dog piling in the middle and screaming and look at Suki. I don't know if he's exhausted or being an introvert, he's just taking in the moment and like, wow, this is another level of human experience. These animations are great. This intense facial expression. Yikazo. I recognize that from all the fighting games I've played in the past. Yikazo. And those breathing animations are pretty good. It's a tough scene and they did, wow. All right, they hired the pros for this one. Look at all the stress wrinkles around the eyes and the strain of the neck. Right there, those, some of those neck muscles, the intensity of these poses here. And I love how they did the teeth. Like to do an elevated angle is really hard to animate without making it look like you're flaring your nostrils or, or buck teeth. But to have the curvature of the teeth there and then just seeing part of the nostril, really good perspective here. Wait, I think Atsumu is the setter, right? The one with the blonde hair. These, man, everyone's got such intense wrinkles. It just shows how much they gave. <laughs> I love how they're still fighting at the end. Is that supposed to be like a fake Apple phone? Haha, <laughs> Dr. Wiley, that's what you get for being a doubter. And then he's gonna later claim that, ah, it was my plan to make him the ball boy because look, he wouldn't have achieved this level of success without my genius. I do remember the captain's speech. That was a memorable scene. Oh no. Sometimes we say sorry to make ourselves feel better versus trying to correct a wrong. Yeah, tr it's tough. You usually don't want to do things in practice that you don't, or don't do things in games that you don't do in practice. Man, the, the, the animation in this episode was very, very, very fluid. The proportions weren't as on point, but the fluidity of the action definitely was very well illustrated. Or animated, I should say. 
Because he was pleased. He was pleased with the performance and the volleyball. But for him to admit emotion, that's big. I remember thinking that. And that's a victory in itself when you can play with no regrets. And this is the difference between American animation and Japanese animation as you get life lessons and philosophy. And you get real raw emotion and teaches kids how to deal with some of these difficult moments. There we go with the grandkids. So maybe that translation was not incorrect. It's about the legacy that even your grandkids can talk about. Does anyone notice that their hair, the twins' hairs are combed in opposite directions too, as another way to differentiate. Same hairstyle, different colors of obviously, but they're actually one's combed to the left and one combs to the right. And this is Tsuki's monologue that I really enjoyed too. And then just not to, again cherishing that mark. Sinking one level deeper. And for Tsuki to admit being hooked into volleyball. Now it's time for our halftime snack time from our sponsors. Tokyo Treat and Sakurako, which are monthly subscription services where you get authentic Japanese snacks every month delivered right to your door. Let's try a snack from the Tokyo Treat Box, which is a more modern selection. I love waffles and this is a strawberry waffle. One thing I love about the Tokyo Treat snacks is the fruit flavors taste actually like real fruit and they're not super sweet. Wow, mm, man, that smells great. Super moist, lightly sweetened, exactly where I thought. Got a real strawberry flavor evenly spread throughout the whole waffle. Now we'll try something from a more traditional selection from Sakurako. I chose this because it's got a cute rabbit. I love crackers, I love anything crunchy. So I have no idea if this is salty or sweet. It smells like a rice cracker. Mmm like a toasted soy sauce wafer. If you want to try your own Sakurako and Tokyo Treat snacks, use my discount code and link below to get $5 off your first order and enjoy your snacks while watching Haikyuu with me. I also receive a small commission from every new subscription to those companies, which directly supports Elevate Yourself and helps make better quality videos for you guys. I do enjoy these moments where the three upperclassmen bond together and just reflect on their memories and this actually kind of reminds me of Brant, Chris and me. We've been playing together for a couple years now and we're becoming closer friends. I think we just really enjoy playing with each other. We're kind of the core of our team and it just feels good to play with close friends and people that you enjoy winning and losing with. What's interesting is how the story they were able to have Suga feel very motherly, but still be a male figure at the same time. Uh, this is one of my favorite things to do. After a well-played game, you just get to reflect on the memories of everyone's individual plays that were just so amazing. Man, what's up with Suga's face there? I've never seen that facial expression from Suga. It looks like he's about to sneak attack on somebody. Tomorrow, there's another game tomorrow. And the fact if when season five, film one starts off with that, that's gonna be intense. <laughs> oh, the creepiness of Tanaki. Tanaka never gets old. I'm appreciative that they did not go full nudity in Haikyuu. Except for the butt cheeks. I think that's a Hinata's butt cheeks. <laughs> I just think it retains an innocence. Like I personally have nothing against having that in films in general because I think there's an artistry to that and sometimes that's part of telling the story. But it keeps the focus on the characters and the volleyball. <laughs> that's funny. 
some of these bonding moments. And with the Nekoma cat, the imagery is just priceless here. You notice that even the voice of the Tanaka equivalent on Nekoma still has that raspy, screamy type voice. That is true. Sometimes you feel like if you matched up against other teams, would you would they have been in a better position or a worse position to, to go that far? Wise words usually from Kenma. Now we get to see the final matchup clash. It's just the morning of the next day where Nakoma and Karasuno get to play in the finals. This is the battle of the garbage dump. It just dawned on me. This is the battle of the garbage dump. The two unlikely teams, like a double underdog story. Kenma versus Hinata. And Hinata accepts the challenge. I forgot what happens in this scene. Grandpa Ukai? Oh. The battle of the garbage dump, that's, yes. Man, what are they eating? I'm just always intrigued by food. I love food. We got some pot stickers, some karaage, looks like some Japanese fried chicken, mixed vegetable dish. I better have the garbage dump, eh? Oh, this is where we get to see the epiphany of Coach Ukai's evolution of coaching philosophy. Teaching is a facade. I'm still curious what he means by that. Wow, look at that water settling. So settling in animation is when objects settle or slow down and becomes like the transition from movement to being still. And as Grandpa Ukai is bringing this cup down, you see the water move with the cup and then kind of settle as the cup is being still. That's a really great detail. Good, good animation technique. Watch, see how the water just kind of shakes at the bottom. That's what makes things feel so real. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for making season five. So happy that season five is finally coming out. And I really do hope they make additional episodes, but they only released two films. That's what we're going to get. Let me know if you want me to react in one super long episode, or if you want me to cut it up into parts just to build that excitement and talk a little more deeply about each segment. Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to support the channel in other ways, we just restocked our Elevate tank tops and our Elevate vertical tees. You can also sign up for our Patreon where you receive access to exclusive content such as early access to my Haikyuu videos and much more. In the meantime, you can catch up on all my Haikyuu reaction videos from every single episode from season one through season four in this playlist right here. And I know you're gonna love this video right here. Oh,